What is up YouTube, Zanzor here. Today I have a video for you and you're just going to see me upgrading my RAM on this HP Pavilion DV6. It originally had 4 gigabytes. that's 4 gigabytes of RAM built in of DDR3 and uh, now I'm going to be just installing another 4 gigabytes uh, because based on the blogosphere, what I heard from everyone on the blogosphere was that uh, it only has one slot taken up in the uh, RAM slots so hopefully that is correct, and if that is correct, then that means that I will be able to add another 4 gigabyte uh, piece of RAM, and that will basically let my computer run faster, and everything will work cleaner, better, just an overall better experience when I'm using this. It is a nice laptop, it does work fast, great graphics card, great processor, but it will work way faster with 4 gigabytes of RAM added, which is basically doubling what it originally has now. So uh, now I'm just going to show you uh, my installation, and after that I will show you the uh, test boot to see how it boots up and what uh, really happens when it's working. So uh, I'll show you when it boots up, if it's working all nice, and uh, yeah, so um, yeah, watch the video. So uh, as you can tell, uh, not much really going on here. Uh, Basically, I'm just installing the bottom chip of the RAM that came with the HP Pavilion. This is 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and it's a little bit tough for me to get in because this is just my first time, so I didn't really understand how to, how to install the RAM, but later I learned how to install it properly. As you will see in a couple of seconds, I'm going to install it properly in around, like, five four three two one and so I installed that properly and now you see me installing the four gigabytes of uh, external uh, RAM that I purchased later I purchased that uh, after I bought the laptop a couple of days ago now I'm installing it this one was not as hard to do because I already know how to knew how to install it and that's basically it so um hope you liked it Alright guys, so um, this is just going to be uh, just a quick little part of the video where I'm going to be turning on the computer and let's see if it boots up like it should. So I'm going to go ahead and click the power button right here and uh, as you can tell, well now you can tell, uh, the touchpad is illuminated, the screen is turning on, it's working fine I guess, we'll just have to see if everything boots up, uh, starting window sign is flashing on, on the screen. I guess there's not much else to this part, really. Um, this is probably going to take another... Well, I guess now it's done. Um, it's probably going to ask me to use the fingerprint scanner, so I'll show you where that is. Fingerprint scanner is right there. As you can see now, it's logging in, and the fingerprint scanner is right there, so I can go ahead and use that. I'll just scan my finger across this and it's logging me in right now. So it's saying welcome and let's see if this boots up like normal. So uh, I know this is not my background, it just came with the computer, I haven't really messed around with anything. Um, so let me see, uh, this is AVG, I don't need AVG right now, um, remind me later. So I'll go into my computer uh, properties, let's see what the RAM is now. So, installed memory, RAM, 7.48 gigabytes usable out of 8. So, uh, it worked, the setup of the RAM worked, and it is looking like this is going to be a faster uh, computer now because of that uh, upgrade I did with the RAM. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, maybe you learned something on how to install RAM. Um, I'll have the links to the RAM I bought down in the video description down below. And as always, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, peace.